It hasn't been easy getting an RTX 3080 graphics card for those who want to build a high-end gaming rig. And for some, the next best option would be a laptop that actually has one. Well, there's no better option right now than the Asus ROG Zephyrus Duo 15 SE, which obviously packs the very powerful RTX 3080. And it's probably one of the best laptops that you can get right now with that kind of hardware. Let's find out why. Let's first talk about how the device looks like, and one thing that jumps out at me is how thin the laptop is. It measures at just 2.09 centimeters and weighs about 2.48 kilograms without the charging brake. You can definitely lug this around in your backpack for those who are constantly on the go. The laptop's sleek cover is also a standout. The whole chassis is metal, and you get a very nice mesh like finish on the bottom portion of the cover. Next, let's quickly run through the amount of I.O. ports you get here. You get 3 USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type-A ports, 1 USB 3.2 Type-C with display port and power delivery, 1 HDMI 2.0B port, 1 micro SD card reader, 1 combo audio jack, and 1 Ethernet port. Moving on, the model that we have here comes with a 4K 120Hz panel that's more suitable for content creators. It's Pantone validated and offers 100% Adobe RGB color range. The panel is IPS and non-reflective. Color output on this monitor is fantastic and the 4K resolution makes a whole world of difference. If you want a higher refresh rate panel, you can get the 300Hz model that comes with an RTX 3070. Both that and this panel offer a short 3 millisecond response time as well as FreeSync. What's even more impressive however is what sells the Zephyrus Duo, the second display. Dubbed the ScreenPad Plus, the extra monitor also outputs at 4K resolution. It's a touch panel as well and it's basically an extended monitor to improve multitasking like when editing videos or working on documents. When it comes to gaming, the only title that supports it will be Dying Light 2 that isn't out yet. So for now, you can only place Discord or the Armory Crate app or your choice of monitoring program to make use of the extra display. With the screen pad plus taking up a large portion of the chassis, the keyboard has to be quite compact. Despite this, I think that's no problem at all. Plus points for its per key RGB backlighting with 1.4mm of travel distance. On the side here is the touchpad that also comes with a digital numpad. The placement takes a bit of getting used to but I'd still recommend an external mouse for maximum productivity. Finally, let's talk about performance but let's run through the specs first. This beast runs on an 8-core AMD Ryzen 9 5900HX CPU coupled with a very powerful RTX 3080 graphics card with a total graphics power of 115 watts. Our laptop comes with 32GB of 3200MHz RAM and 2TB of storage. Let's get right into the gaming benchmarks but first I need to note that these tests were done using early driver builds for the RTX 3080, so you should see better numbers with newer drivers down the line. We started off with Cyberpunk 2077 at 4K maxed out graphics, ray tracing at medium and DLSS at auto. The game ran at 30 frames per second in dense areas. With the ray tracing turned off, we see an improvement at 50 frames per second. For good measure, we tested it out at 1080p resolution as well. With the same settings with RTX on, we got about 55 frames per second. To be fair though, the game is still quite a mess and needs some serious optimization still, even for the PC version. With Red Dead Redemption 2's benchmarking tool, we ran the game at 4K resolution at ultra graphics. We got an average frames per second of about 38. At 1080p resolution and the same graphic settings, we got about 74 frames per second. On Battlefield 5, again at 4K resolution, with ray tracing on and DLSS on, with maxed out graphics, we achieved 50 frames per second. The same thing again but with ray tracing off and we got 60 frames per second, and then at 1080p with RTX on, we got 75 frames per second. Lastly, we took a look at Final Fantasy XV's benchmark app and we maxed out everything with the LSS on and all the Nvidia settings enabled, the laptop scored about 4771. With the LSS off at 1080p settings, we got a score of 10693. Now let's move on to synthetic rendering benchmarks, starting with Cinebench, the Ryzen 9 5900HX scored a whopping 12,255 points in multi-core performance, putting it well above any non-workstation processors. 
In trading marks times by extreme, it scored 5,574 points. And on the Port Royal Ray Tracing benchmark, it scored an impressive 7,005 points. When it came to the PC Mark 10's productivity test, it scored 6,460. When it comes to thermals, you get plenty of intake under the ScreenPad Plus display and at the bottom of the laptop as well. There are exhausts through the side and the back. On top of that, Asus also uses liquid metal compound, which improves heat dissipation a fair bit. The laptop does get a bit warm, especially at the WASD portion of the chassis, but it doesn't get too uncomfortable at least. And we have to remember that this packs the most powerful laptop hardware that money can buy at the moment. After a few hours of gaming, the CPU can reach a max temperature of about 90 degrees Celsius if you're playing something CPU intensive, like Red Dead Redemption 2. Meanwhile, the GPU can reach about 70 degrees Celsius at its peak. When it comes to battery life, the laptop packs a 90 watt hour battery that can last you up to 6 hours on a regular usage. You also get a 280 watt AC adapter and another smaller 100 watt brick that can be carried around more easily. So for almost 20,000 ringgit, the Zephyrus Duo 15 SE is not for the faint-hearted, it's for the enthusiast and for those who are willing to splash the cash. And well, the good thing is it improves over the original with even more powerful hardware obviously for gaming and it's also a very competent workhorse as well. It comes with all the bells and whistles and well, although a lot of its accessories are not necessary like the ScreenPad Plus, it is a nice touch for, again as I said, those who are willing to spend the money. Well, let us know what you think of our review of the Zephyrus Duo 15 SE down in the comment section below. Remember to like our video, subscribe. This is Victor signing off. Bye-bye.